All right guys, time for another shot my stash and it feels like it has been an eternity because I usually film these every two weeks, but it has been a month now because my last rotation, I actually shared a what's in my travel makeup bag instead of a shot my stash because I was gone in New York for two weeks, so it just made more sense. So for this one, I'm gonna start off updating you guys a little bit on my rotation from basically a month ago, the last one that I filmed. And I'm also gonna share some updates on what was in that travel makeup bag. So I'm very excited to do a new Shot My Stash. I just love doing these types of videos. So let's go ahead now and hop, oh, let me just say, if you are, I usually try to say this beforehand, if you aren't interested in the recap and you just wanna see the selection, there's a timestamp down below. So feel free to skip ahead. But now let's hop into the recap. Okay, let's start with a recap from my travel makeup basket. I ended up bringing my Tartly Toasted palette, as I said, mostly because I knew I would be doing very simple looks, and I also really appreciate this mirror while I'm traveling. And I did the exact same eye look every single day with the exception of maybe two days, and I started with my Butter Bronzer in the crease, and then I took this shade Latte, smoked it out all over the lid, and that was it, and I was so obsessed with that look. If I wanted to amp it up a little bit, I would take either a little bit of Cozy or a little bit of Fireside and smoke that out very close to the lash line, but this I actually really enjoyed having. Again, I mostly just reach for this for the matte browns. I'm definitely not utilizing every shade in the palette, so I don't necessarily think that it's worth the price tag, but because I have it, I love reaching for it for those shades, and I'm actually putting a very big dip on the shade Latte. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I eventually hit pan on that. All right, sticking with palettes, I did throw in all of my single eyeshadow palette, palettes, <laughs> what? All of my singles in palettes, and I actually planned to kind of organize these and potentially film that, but I did not end up getting around to that before I left, so they still look the same, but I did have so much fun using these. I did some really beautiful looks out of this green palette. This is my favorite little palette because I love greens, but I also did some very fun looks out of the purple palette. Didn't do a ton with this coral palette, which is surprising because coral is my obsession right now, so how did that not happen? I don't know, but as always, I love using these, but I still need to get around to organizing them and probably decluttering a few shades out of here. This next update, I kinda wanna share um, because I'm proud of it. So I did put my Becca bronzer in, this is the Sunlight Bronzer in Bali Sands, and if you will see, I have quite a bit more more pan than when I first shared this. When I added it, added it into my basket originally, it just had the tiniest little baby pan, but now the pan has definitely expanded, and that wasn't necessarily my intention. I wasn't dipping in trying to expand the pan, but it just kind of happened as a result of using it so often, so that is very exciting. I think that it's funny, I'm trying to pan my butter bronzer and you get so much more product in the butter bronzer that I've been consistently working at that for so long and I still feel like I have a pretty decent amount left. And this, I haven't even actively tried to pan and I probably could finish this within like two months of everyday use. So it's kind of funny how that works. Also, when I was traveling, I took this mini blush from Hourglass in the shade Mood Exposure. This is such a nice product to travel with because it's so tiny. My only qualm with this is that it is a little challenging to put my blush brush into. So if you're someone who uses a big fluffy blush brush, just know that when you are buying a mini, it's not a ton of surface area to dip into, so I kind of feel like my brush would get a little contorted as I was trying to move it around, but this is such a pretty color. It's a very soft, natural-looking blush because it is that um, baked formula. It's just very glowy. I'm not wearing it today. I don't know why I'm pointing at my cheeks, but I loved using this bronzer. Very pretty for spring. Also, I wanted to share my Mary Luminizer because it looks very different from when I added it in originally. I actually repressed this while it was in my Shot My Stash. I did film that, so if you have ever wondered how to repress a powder, I will leave that video linked down below, and I feel like this looks like a brand new highlighter. I had major pan on this, and I thought I was so close to being done with it, but as I was repressing it, I was realizing that there is still a ton of product left, and essentially, I feel like I have a brand new highlighter. So this I will be taking out of rotation for a little while, but I could definitely see myself bringing it back in, probably in the summertime, or at least in a 
few more rotations. I did add in this foundation from Pure Cosmetics. It's their four in one. And I just mentioned this in my favorites video that went up Friday. I'll leave that video linked down below. This foundation, I've also done a get ready with me sharing how I use this. I cannot believe how much I love this powder foundation. And now it's got me thinking that I might wanna try some more powder foundations. And they're definitely on trend right now. I see a lot of brands starting to come out with them. And I feel like, you know, they might not be for everyone, but I think when you're going for an effortless, quick, everyday look, especially work makeup, makeup on the go, this is just so convenient. And I was so happy to have this in my basket because I was using it a ton. So that was a quick rundown on a few products that I have been focusing on for the past month, but let's hop in to the new selections. All right, before we hop in, I did just film a swatch video or like a lip swatch video for my Instagram. So I have some little staining on my hands. So that's what this is. I know it's a little distracting, but starting with the foundation drawer, I'm still going to keep my Project Pan primer in here because I'm so close to finishing this up. I want this to be the only primer that I focus on. For foundation, I think I'm gonna go with my Born This Way from Too Faced. This is the foundation you saw me wearing in the intro. I'm definitely, I've been kind of wanting to wear this for a little while now, so I wanna focus on this for the next two weeks. Should I add a second foundation? You know what, I'm gonna keep this in for another two weeks. This is my Undone foundation, my Un foundation from the brand Undone. This is very sheer, basically no coverage at all, but it'll be nice if I don't wanna go quite as full. With my sprays, what do I wanna grab? I haven't been, I've mostly been into using my Mario Badescu setting water recently, or my facial water, the one that's in my project. So I'm not sure if I wanna grab a facial spray this rotation. You know what, I think I am just gonna stick with my Mario Badescu one. So this was a pretty easy drawer, this rotation. All right, moving right along, let me think about this. So I think, trying to decide if I want to pull my Milk Makeup bronzer back in or if I want to try to like play around with a different bronzer for now. You know what? Let's do the Milk Makeup one. So this is my Milk Makeup bronzing stick. I have the shade Baked. It's my number one favorite bronzer, so I'm really excited to throw it in my basket this month. I almost forgot, I just had to go grab this. This is my highlighter from the new Wen Wild Crystal Cavern collection. It's in the shade Crystal High and it's kind of like a cream to powder formula. I used this in my last makeup tutorial. I did a full face of drugstore using some new products. So I'll leave that linked below, but I wanna keep testing this out because I'm planning to review it later, probably this week. I also wanna grab my Persona highlight. So right now I don't have a self tan, but I'm planning on self tanning probably tonight. So this is my favorite highlighter when I am a little bit tanned. So I'm gonna grab this. This is the shade Zuma, by the way, one of my all time favorites. It is so intense. I'm almost debating grabbing a third highlighter, which I know seems so obnoxious and excessive, but the two that I grabbed are both very intense. So should I also grab a different one? You know what? I think I'm going to grab this. No, forget it. You know what? We'll just do those two for now. So I already have the blush in my project pan. I do like to grab a second blush. So let's see. I think that I want to use the shade Tinge from Lorac. I'm trying to kind of hopefully hit pan on this since it's not cruelty free and eventually maybe work through it. So I like to throw that in to get some more use out of it. And then remember, I did already grab my bronzer, but I also have my butter bronzer in from my project. So I don't need any more bronzers. And I thought about grabbing another powder, but I am focusing on the powder in my project pan. Oh, but I did just finish up my CoverGirl Lid Lock Primer. So I'm gonna take my backup primer and add this into my basket. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And Tilly is leaning on my tripod. Tripod, what? My tripod. Would you like to say hello? Wanna say hi? All right, moving on to my lip and eyeshadow or like eye product drawer. As you can see, I did organize it somewhat. I tried to like put these in an aesthetically pleasing layout, kind of separating them by brand, but I didn't really organize them with baskets or anything because I decided I think I'm set with this for now because I just like that they're all flat and I can mostly see them. But 
for my lip products, I actually am grabbing three new ones. I just filmed a swatch video on these on my Instagram. These are new from Bite. They're called the Outburst Longwear Lip Stains. This is called Strawberry Frosé. This is Sangria Slush. And this is my favorite. It's Orange Fizz. I was wearing it in the intro. And if you want to see how all of these look applied, I'll leave the, well, what am I saying? <laughs> Check it out on my Instagram, but I do want to play with all of those. You know, I've been so into bright colors, so I think I'm going to have a ton of fun with those. But I think just to kind of round everything out, I should grab a nice neutral lip. I think I'm going to go with this. This is the shade Fuel from Urban Decay. Used to be one of my all-time favorite lip glosses, and I haven't been reaching for it a ton recently, so I think this will be a nice addition. And then I will pair that, of course, with... One of my lip liners, which one am I looking for? This one. This is the shade Natural from NYX. But in terms of other eye products, I really want to test these out. So these are new from Sigma. Well, they're not new. The formula is not new, but they added a couple more colors. These are their eyeshadow primer base sticks. So I actually used three of them for the eye look that I'm wearing today. The main color that I have on my lid I really like this is called earthen it's like a nice cool tone brown so I kind of want to play around with these for the days I want a more neutral eye look because these are mostly neutral you can wear them on their own or they're a nice base so I'm gonna just throw all of them in and then I featured these Koki crystal fusion liquid eyeshadows in that drugstore video but I want to throw one of them in this rotation to get some use out of it this is the shade mothership and it's a really pretty greenish gold and i think that will be a lot of fun to use but i think that's all for this drawer so i have two palettes that i want to focus on for this rotation the first one is my baby my favorite eyeshadow palette in my collection this is the magic palette from juvia's place and i feel like this color would be so pretty worn with this shade nubia i can see the look already i'm super pumped about it and then I also wanted to pair that with my other favorite Juvia's Place palette. This is the Deuce palette. It's so perfect for spring and I've been craving some looks with this around this time of year. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this shade and some, uh, probably this one as well. I think this is going to be a really fun combo to have. But that's going to go ahead and complete this rotation. This is what the basket is looking like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!